Hello and welcome back to the X-Ring. So if you guys like BNT stuff, then you're gonna like this next one. Some people call it the Assassin's Pistol. Basically, this is the newer model of the well rod. If you're not familiar with that pistol, that is a World War II pistol that was developed for SOE for basically British special operations. And this is not the Station 6. Um, there were 250 of these units that were actually brought into the United States. And this is called the VP9. Yes, just like the H&K. But this is the VP9 or veterinary pistol. This is extremely quiet. It is a bolt action pistol, has two lugs, and it is designed for 9mm. So regardless of the use, some people say that it's for dispatching animals. Uh, other people say it's for covert operations and things like that. But what's cool about it is it comes in this kit. And these are not inexpensive. Again, uh, once again, these run uh, somewhere about $6,000 now is the market price if you can find one. And like I said, there's only... 250 of them in the United States. So it comes with one suppressor there, comes with another suppressor here. We'll go ahead and do a look over on the kit. The difference is, is the US version of the Station 6 actually has a full grip, whereas the VP9 doesn't. The magazine is actually the integral part of the grip. It has its own proprietary magazine and it has its own grip safety here. The trigger mechanism almost looks like a squirt gun or a water gun, something like that. It does have rudimentary sights. Uh, these are very reminiscent of what Glock sights look like. But basically, this rotates. You push in, roll it out, and roll it again. Got to have the grip safety in, and then that will close it. So you're not going to have any cycling operations with the mechanism. So basically, it is a closed bolt. It's going to be going through the suppressor. And if you guys want to take a look, the reason it comes with two suppressors is this one is a wipe model, which is your what they call the operation suppressor. And then you also have what they call a training model, which is a full working suppressor with aluminum baffles, more like what you are accustomed to out of any other suppressor design. Also comes with a push rod inside of here. Comes with another magazine. And then it also comes with some cleaning tools, um, some other things to assist with disassembly, spare wipes if you're a manufacturer, and then also it comes with some breakdown tools for basically taking the bolt out, and then it has a box of ammunition. All right, so for those of you that might not know what wipes are, they're not little tiny thin pieces of plastic, okay? This is actually very thick. You'll see it's about a quarter inch thick, and there is a bunch of these inside of there. It does have a perforated center and you cannot shoot hollow points because hollow points will jam it up uh, that material will get in there and this this is actually disposable okay you can only use these for about nine or ten shots before you start blowing out the center but what this does is it allows a ball round or round nose to pass through it it closes back and seals the gases so you don't have an open hole like a typical suppressor design so I do have dual mics on. Hopefully I've got this sound thing resolved. And what I'm gonna be shooting is the Fioki 158 grain subsonics. I'll let you guys hear it with the trainer can first, and then we'll put the white can on there and we'll see what a difference it makes. Another thing you'll notice is it is an over the barrel design, very similar to the 300 SPR. So you'll see where the gas can escape into the suppressor, but it actually has an O-ring here on the side to seal off those gases. For those that might not know, the VP9 coming out, or the new veterinary pistol, that was actually a customer that had approached BNT about covert operations. So some people might call it an assassin's pistol, but truly, truly it was for covert operations. So let's go ahead and shoot the trainer first, and then we will go on to the wipe. All right, so the pistol's open here. This does have a left-handed thread. This is the trainer can. So what I'm going to do is just twist it on this way. I'll go ahead and take the magazine. We'll go ahead and grab some of this Fioki 158. Into this, and you know what's cool about it, uh, for those of you that are in the medical industry, this actually has the veterinary logo with the Cadaceus on here uh, with the snake. So it's, uh, it's actually pretty cool. I think the owner's manual actually has ways of it's showing you on how to dispatch animals. Um, I'm sure it's for dispatching animals, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're going to insert the magazine into the magwell here. 
And now we'll have this nice little tiny grip. We have the grip safety and we'll be able to close this and roll it over. Let's go ahead and flip the camera around. I'm gonna shoot it into the dirt. Let's get it going. All right, so we have the trainer can on here. We are at 40 yards on that third IBSIC. So what I'm gonna do is just push forwards, rotate, and let's go ahead and shoot one into the steel first, see if the sights are on. Yeah, it was on. You can also hear the port was very loud. We're just gonna rotate, pull it, push, rotate. I'm gonna shoot into the dirt this time, twice, so you guys can hear this. So very, very effective. And with this being a bolt action, uh, I could see where you could actually fire this with very little notice going. Now guys, while this is not for everyone, it does have its place. Very, very quiet, it's very small, it's something that's packable. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a demonstration of the wipe and we're gonna see how quiet that is using the exact same sound equipment. I have two on for stereo sound and let's switch it over to that operational can. All right, so now we have the operational can in here. Guys, this is going to be extremely quiet. Once again, I have two mics on. I'm gonna shoot it into the dirt. Here we go. Guys, listen to this. Listen, I don't know if you can hear this. Do you hear that release of pressure? That is the pressure being relieved from what was in the wipe. It is incredibly quiet. Which is insane. You will never ever shoot another suppressor that is going to sound like this. So for an operational can, this is insanely quiet. Um, I wish I could really convey that to you on how quiet it is, but like I said, it is a consumable item when it comes to those wipes in there, but insane, insane. Let me stand behind the camera, maybe you can hear this. All right, first person view. Here we go, into the dirt. Let's listen. I am so impressed. Color me impressed. Some of you guys might complain about the title, but this is this is sick. Never experienced anything that quiet. But once again, you cannot get wipes from the manufacturer. You're going to have to actually send it in, and they'll have to replace those wipes for you. Uh, wipes are nothing new, but wipes are a regulated item just like a baffle. So, wow, how impressive is that? All right, two sets of mics on. Here we go, CGS first. Veterinary pistol second. The difference is huge. All right, let's say you're walking around with your sweatshirt on. You have this under your arm, so I'm gonna be clear. And you're walking, because we have no cycling of an action, I can actually, let's see if I can hit a steal from 40 yards but I don't have to worry about anything cycling. All right, I hope everyone really enjoyed that review of the VP9 by BNT, Bruiser and Tomet. They did an outstanding job. This thing is insanely quiet, guys. Quieter than anything I would have ever imagined uh, for a nine millimeter. The tone is unbelievable, and it's one of those that is extremely covert. The sound going off is, there's nothing like it. I've never heard anything quieter. If you enjoy the videos, please hit that subscribe button. It will help me out. And big thanks to everyone that watched the BNT 300 SPR. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Have a good one.